Hey everyone, this is your girl Talisa K, and I am Chet Chet checking in. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so very much for your subscriptions, likes, comments, and sharing the content on my channel. If you are new to my channel, I would like to invite you to hit that subscribe notification bell. And you can also like, comment, and share this content if you so desire. And welcome to the TK family. Really quick, you guys, I would like to speak to you about the power of tithing. Glory to God. You guys, I have so many testimonies. Um, but this one right here is it's, it's going to be quick, but I want to share this with someone, someone who needs help with building their faith, someone who needs to depend on God, someone who needs to trust God. And I just want to come and share the scripture from Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I want to tie that into a testimony really quick where I just resigned from my job of almost six years and I heard the Lord speak to me softly. I was lying in bed and I heard the Lord said, tithe your entire last check. This is my, and was my very last check at this company. And I'm the type of person that journals the journey. I like to take notes when God speak to me so that I can have a date and time stamp to reflect back to know that God is so very real, as real as I speak to you guys, as real as the breath that I take. It was August 11th, 2022 at 11.28. I typed this message up and I said, I heard God speak to me. And I went on to say that one of my um, friends, she told me about her mom would tithe her whole first check of the new year. And she's a, an attorney and that check would be substantial. And I heard this testimony and I'm like, wow, I want to be able to tithe on that level one day. I was blown away to hear that someone would actually tithe a substantial amount of their money into whatever church or organization that they believe uh, will be beneficial to the kingdom of God. I typed all of this up, as you can see. And the very next day I got my check, my last check. I tab the check, didn't think anything of it. On that Saturday, August the 13th, um, I serve, you know, volunteer mostly. The person said to me, hey, I got something for you. And I'm like, wow, okay, thanks. The check was just a few dollars short of what I sold into my church. Do what God tells you to do. He's only asking us for 10%. Of our earnings. He didn't say give me 90 and you take 10. But even if he did say that, I know that because God supplies all of our needs, he will bless it. He will multiply it in ways that will blow our minds. So for whoever is struggling with their faith, whoever is struggling with their tithing, if you have never tithed or if you are kind of wayward, so to speak, and you tithe sometimes and sometimes you don't, I challenge you to be consistent with tithing. Be consistent with God because he's consistent with us. Give God an opportunity to do exceedingly abundantly beyond you can ever think or ask. I pray that this message gives you some hope, gives you some insight on how to tap into this beautiful relationship with Jesus Christ by faith and by tithing, by spending time with him, by reading his word and loving on him. And that's in Jesus name. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Continue to be blessed, safe, and well. Until next time, I love you guys.